guys so I just have a order from Lily Pinkrins here that I'm just gonna um, show you guys now and then I'm just gonna chuck it into another haul and that's only because I really need to plan and I'm still waiting on some orders um, from a few shops so I ordered from Lily Pinkrins for Anzac Day as usual you guys have seen this twice already I think um, the purple sampler really love it I love the plan oh, I love the planner I love the planner um, so I ordered her vertical Anzac Day kit in matte and her horizontal in glossy. So I'm just going to show you guys these really quick. I got a request to do some horizontal play with me. So that's why I got the horizontal. I also wanted to try her glossy paper because I've only tried it on a sampler and I do promote for Lily Pink prints. So I wanted to try it out for myself. Um, and yeah, so, and these kits also, the, pro the proceeds from these went to charity. So really ordering the horizontal kit killed three birds with one slow stone, <laughs> stone, charity, glossy paper and, um, horizontal plan with me. So yeah, I have that. This is the vertical one. So all of them came with this little freebie, um, sheet of deco. It's got Anzac Day, April 25th, lest we forget. The little, um, what's it called? Oh, they're a slat tap. There's like a, a man carrying another one. Anzac Day, April 25th with the flags. It's Australia, New Zealand and the little guy. Some poppies and then we will remember them. Anzac Day down the bottom, which is super cute. And then this is the kit. So this is the first sheet. I customised my headers. Don't ask what what they were before because I don't remember but I got seven little things and four to-dos the reason for this you will understand when you see the plan with me um there's a weekend banner which I did peel up to check it so two habit trackers some little icons some checklists and some appointment boxes and then on the second page you get two full box checklists and one blanked out one three decorative boxes some little circles some teardrops some flags a half box and a washi strip so yeah that's the vertical and this paper is matte and then i have the glossy one which is the same deco sheet here just in the glossy paper i customized these headers as well um then this one's got the icons the two habit trackers some appointment labels half checklist and full checklist a weekend banner that runs down the side some teardrops some flags and some dots and then this page has the two full box checklists the blanked out full box the decorative boxes some half boxes and some appointment labels so yes that's my order from lily pink prints um i will be doing plan with me's on both of these kits, don't mind my planner just there, I will be doing plan with me's on both of these kits, um, so keep your eye out for those, um, but yeah, on to the rest of the haul. What up guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel, today I'm filming an Etsy sticker haul for you guys, and I have five shops to show you, um, and we all know that I can be a little bit rambly, so let's just jump straight in, shall we? I'll do the washi order first. So my first order here is from Rabbit and the Duck Craft and Paper Goods Supply Store on Etsy. That's the details there. And then again, it's just a little thanks business card, which is nice. I'll zoom you guys down in a little bit. So it came packaged in like a A4 mailer and then this was inside. And this is a washi grab bag that I got. So it was five rolls, I think, for $10. Um, $10 plus shipping. And it was just a random hod like, hodpodge of um, washies and stuff. Just depending on what they had to get rid of. It was like former stock or um, like... Um, What's it called? Why can't I? Where are your words, Steph? Um, stuff they've used for like demos and stuff and um, photos. This one here isn't even open. So, yeah, so I got five rolls and I'm just going to put them onto this book just to show you. 
and just angle you guys down just a tad. All right, so I got five rolls. These are the five rolls that I got, and I'm really glad because I don't have any of these. So this first one, it's just this white tape with the red, um, like these red flowers on it, which is really nice. Just roll that back up. And then this one says hello, and it also says hello beautiful. That's all it says. Woo! Um, yes, yeah, so that's this she. And then I got this little roll here, which is just like an orange roll with some red dots on it, or like you could even say that's dark or orange dots. They're really cute. And then this one, which I think is my favourite, is like dandelions in white and um, pink on a like, turquoise kind of background. The white ones don't even look white now, just because I've just put them back on a black background, but they're kind of like transparent-y kind of... Um, dandelions which is really cute and then the next one isn't actually open but it's just a solid green um yeah it's just in the plastics just a solid green tape so that's my washies from rabbit and the dog my next order is from squiggle pop studio and this shop apparently is located in the uk i don't know if she used to be in brisbane or if she used to be or if there was an issue on Etsy, I don't know, but either way, she's now in the UK. This is a grab bag that I got from her. Um, before I get into the stickers, I will do the negative first. When I ordered this, her shop was marked on Etsy as being an Australian shop. Um, and when I purchased, I was under the full intention that I was purchasing from an Australian shop. That obviously was not the case. Um, and I was waiting on, I waited two weeks for my stickers regardless because I couldn't review them on Etsy until two weeks after they'd shipped. These took three weeks to arrive. When I consulted the owner about it as well, um, I think her name is Rachel, uh, sh I didn't find her to be very helpful with the situation at all. It was just, I'm sorry, please keep waiting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Royal Mail, blah, blah, blah. To be perfectly honest, if I, if I had known she was international, I would not have ordered. Um, and that is not against the shop, that is just me personally, even though her shipping was still only $2 Australian, um, I probably wouldn't have ordered the stickers and I probably won't order again, um, just given my experience this time. However, if I do really like any of these stickers, I, I will order again because I actually, not so much the matte paper, the matte paper is a little bit thin, but her glossy paper is so, so good. So I'm really undecided about this shop and I'm very confused about the situation and I'm not happy with the situation, but at the same time, my stickers arrived, all is well, and that's fine. So, I did get these little birds here. These are on a glossy paper and these are really cute. Um, I probably will never use them though, so I'm probably going to rack them or um, add them to my D-stash pile because I've got a huge D-stash pile. Um, but I got those. These little cactus stickers, like cacti and the little plants and stuff, these are so, so cute. Um, again, we'll probably never use these, but these are the kind of decorative sticker that I would keep just for a bit of something extra. And I do sort of want to get some succulents just so I've got some greenery. Then I've got these autumn leaves. It's coming up to the end of autumn here, but I have a kit from that planner girl that I was given by, oh, that I bought from Natalie Versace, so, uh, Nuvesa Scribbles, so I will use these as a decorative element for that kit. Then I got these heart banners, which again, I probably won't use, but I'm not going to get rid of them just in case I ever have, like, you know, if I go away overnight or something and I want to mark it a little bit differently, I can use these. These are all cut really well as well. 
Then I got these dog stickers. I don't know what kind of a dog this is. I'm not really a dog person. Probably not going to use these. I'll probably add them to my rack pile. I already know who's going... Uh, not my rack pile, my dish pile rather. And I already know who's going to want to get them. Isn't that right, Tia? <laughs> Um, then I got this pink lemonade kit, which I will keep because I am doing another lemonade spread in August. So I will keep those. Got these little flags. I actually love the size of these flags. They're perfect for noting something really simple. And I like the colours as well. Then I got these half boxes, which I will use because why wouldn't I? And then I got these flight stickers, which are actually kind of good. And I've never had flight stickers before. So these ones do have an off cut. And I'm going to assume that's why they're in a grab bag. Um, they do have an off cut, but I still really like them. And again, I love the color scheme and stuff. And then I got these full boxes, which are just like yellow and uh, blue plants and stuff. These I probably won't keep. But yes, I'm keeping, you know, a fair chunk of the stickers that I got from Squiggle Pop Studio. I will have a link below. And I do recommend her, her stickers. Like if you're not someone who's not bothered by overseas shipping times and stuff like that. Because it also took her a couple of weeks to ship it. Um, if you're someone that's not bothered by that. Then you know definitely order. And Rachel. She, like she was very sweet. I didn't find her helpful personally. But what I find helpful and what other people find helpful. Is probably two different things. So um yeah i will i would recommend her shop it's just not for me next up is paper nation again i have an issue with this this one i forgot to say squiggle pop studio was sent in a cardboard mailer in a cellophane bag paper nation same cardboard mailer cellophane bag just with an enjoy sticker on the back um and then a mexicali on the front just because this is her Cinco de Mayo kit. Paper Nation is an Australian seller and she's the only one in Australia actually that I found doing a Cinco de Mayo kit. So I'm really excited. I did get this little sampler which is super cute. I love this Kawaii guy. Confessions by Court does this Kawaii sticker as well and I love it. So that's really nice. Um, I will do the negatives for this kit as well. So I got one, two, three four five six sheets plus the sampler every single sheet has an off cut except for the sampler but the sampler you can still see the black lines around it it's very poorly cut um every single sheet has a miscut on it which is so disappointing um and i will show them to you but that being said, I got this kit in matte and the paper, as per usual for this particular paper, is stunning. Her um, cut lines are also very rough. I don't know if you can tell, but it's... Yeah, I don't know if you can tell at all, but they're very rough edges. It's not a clean cut at all. Um, but... Yeah... And I do, I do love the kit. I love the kit. I love the stickers. And I would order again if the offcuts were fixed. So first sheet is this functional one. You get six checklists. Build you, payday, weekend banner. A few little icons. Teardrops, flags. This cute as hell little planner. Cancelled rescheduled and CBF. Which I love because I always say I, see, I can't be fire trucked. And then you get... To go, to do, to buy, and to clean. And this is where the big off cut is. Look at that. Isn't... Oh, I'm just... Like... You know, how do you not notice an off cut of that size? You know? But, yeah. And you can also tell, like, these are not even... They're not... Like, the sheet just isn't even. But, whatever. Then I got the ombre checklist in the kit, which I'm glad that I got these because you only get six of these ones. And I prefer these, but I'd have to use one of these anyway, so I'm glad that I've got this. And these, again, are not lined up, and these all have off cuts as well. Actually, I'll show you on a darker one because that's kind of hard to see. But... 
yeah you can see the off cut there they've all got off cuts but i love the colors of these like and her like this is a muted sort of um cinco de mayo kit which i like but the colors are still vibrant half boxes um that, that's the best one but it's also not the best one to show you here she doesn't like her stickers are very precise like kiss cut and you can see like on both of these you can see the the pattern sort of just ends which is disappointing but that's okay and there's her headers and little things which I love I love that she includes cleaning ones um, which and for a normal person that would be enough like four cleaning ones would be enough um, unfortunately not for me but I won't use these for probably not these for either so I'll be able to get everything that I need out of the kit um, oh there's a hair on there but you can see on this sheet like this is this isn't even a straight edge like you know it's it's not cut straight as a page at all and then the little things have the off cuts again um, but you know this page also makes me really love the color scheme as well I really love it and then this one is the full boxes you can see here like how uneven is that like that so oh, sorry my laptop just finished um, exporting like you can see how poorly set out the sheet is um, but then yeah again off cuts you can see them quite clearly there um, which is disappointing but again you know I love these patterns too like because these two and this one here particularly are very very Mexican I do really enjoy them and then there's a the washi sheet and this one I mean it doesn't necessarily have I mean it is off cut but it's nowhere near as bad as the other sheet and if I was gonna say that anyone wasn't off cut it would be this one but you know anyway just a washi sheet I do love this kit from Paper Nation it is so so pretty and I'm so excited that she did a um, Cinco de Mayo kit I'm very excited that she did a Cinco de Mayo kit um, because it's just so like nobody ever does Cinco de Mayo kits in Australia because no one celebrates it but I love Mexican food so <laughs> that's why I want to celebrate it there would be a lot of feedback I have on this shop if I was to give feedback but you know my next shop is Blackbird Prince Co this is all one order she just packaged the kit separately for me um, I love Nikki she's like my favorite person ever I think I've said in a previous video um, she's like that cool girl at school that you just really want to be friends with like that's Nikki you know she, she's just awesome she ships everything so so fast um, so this is my order from her I got a fair bit so I'm just gonna go one bag at a time this one is her June monthly kit she ships in a rigid cardboard mailer and then the cellophane bags obviously I'm trying her glossy paper with this particular um ooh, this particular kit it's very finely cut there but that's all right um, so this first page has like a, a big washi strip on it, four little page flags and then the days and washi and stuff. This is like a bokeh kind of colour scheme and I really enjoy it. And then you get some sidebar stickers here, some paydays, bill juice and some little appointment boxes, three balloons and some date covers. I like the addition of the balloons, that's really cute. And then you get two extra boxes here. A ton of icons for stuff. End of financial year, which is going to be awesome, especially in Australia. Two of these like washi strips, I think. Yeah, like just two solid boxes. Some more flags and some more appointment labels. I really, really enjoy this monthly kit. And her glossy paper is so fine. Like it's so thin, but it's such good quality. I really, really love it. 
I love this end of financial year sticker. Oh, I will be using that. And then the rest of it I got in matte. So this is her chalkboard sheet kit, which I saw Kylie, Aussie Sticker Queen. Um, she did a video on it and I fell in love with it then, so I got it. Um, so these are the full boxes. I really, really enjoy these full boxes. Um, they're super pretty. The ombre heart checklist, which is so gorgeous. Like the colours, man, the colours. They're just so, so nice. This sheet has the decor, um, a movie marquee, some icons and stuff, me time, payday, date night, and some half boxes, headers, and little things, two flags, two teardrops, some small flags, and a weekend banner, and then the washi and heart checklist, and two more flags, two more appointment labels. So that's what I got in that and then these are my a la carte sheets which I don't think I ordered this many a la carte sheets I don't I think I only ordered like three. Oh god oh god okay um <laughs> all right so this is a sample that she sent which is super nice I think it's the same as my other sample I'm not sure then I ordered these lazy day stickers I love these because I man I needed me some lazy day stickers um, and then I ordered the extra little things and appointment labels and sidebar kit for the chalkboard chic. And then I also ordered it for my peacock kit, which you guys saw in a previous video. Okay, some extra pretties. This is my new watercolor butterfly. So pretty, XOX. I get along really well with Nikki. Um, she's so, so sweet. Um, we get along like a house on fire, really. She's just amazing. So... Um, thanks Nikki for the extras. Um, so this is her, what did she say, watercolour butterfly kit. So this just must be the small kit because the kits that I get, like this one, um, are the full kits. And I, that doesn't match. Does that match the chalkboard? That matches the chalkboard. Oh, so she sent me more half boxes and quarter boxes for the chalkboard kit. Oh, that's really nice of her. Oh, thanks, Nikki. Cool. Okay, we'll add that to that. And then this must be... So this is like the smaller weekly kit. So you get today headers, some extras, and a few little things. A little bit of decor. Flags, teardrops, a couple of icons, a couple of decor. As I said, weekend banners, some half boxes, and one ombre checklist. And then you get four full boxes, some more teardrops, and little checklists, full checklists, and some washi strips. So this kit is actually really, really pretty. Thanks, Nikki. That's so nice. Oh my god. She sent me extras last time too. She's so sweet. Okay, and then the last shop that I have to show you guys is Confessions by Court. Um, I am a shop promoter for Confessions by Court, so you can use the code DREAMWEAVER15 for 15% off your order. This is Courtney's business card. Details on the back. She's always linked down below anyway. You can find links on my Instagram. Um, she sent me a pay, uh, Project Life card. Thank you, Steph. Enjoy Courtney XO. That's really sweet of her. Okay, and then... So, okay, I'll start with the bookmarks because I ordered three bookmarks. So I don't know if this cardboard is new that she's put them on because my other ones came on Project Life cards. I don't know. But anyway, these are also the larger ones. So do I have one close by? Okay, so I don't have one of Courtney's um, other bookmarks close by me, but that's okay. These two are her larger ones and then this is her kiss one. Oh, it's felt. Oh, ooh, okay. So I got this one here, which is... Let's zoom you guys down a little bit. So this is her Alice in Wonderland one. It just says we're all mad here. And I don't know if she's changed her magnets on all of them or if she just uses a thicker magnet on the bigger bookmarks. But that's definitely a stronger magnet. Let me, let me see. Let's grab some sticker sheets. So I just have six sheets here. So it takes a little bit, like a fair bit of a beating for it to actually slip off. And that's six sheets of sticker paper. 
So you could probably, like you would be able to use it in a book definitely because that's what they're designed for primarily or in a planner to mark from your monthly to your weekly. Then I got Always, which is a Harry Potter one. And then I got the Metallic Kiss and this is so nice. This just feels so nice. And I love that this one is felt because it will be able to stretch out a lot further. So... Yeah, so it can stretch a lot further out over the top of pages. So that's awesome. I love that one. So that's from that's the bookmarks from Confessions by Court. And I love this little cardboard sheet that she's doing now. She's never done that before. I'll zoom you guys back it out slightly. To the stickers. So I'm trying her glossy paper as well and I also customised my headers just to see what they would be like. She sent me two samplers, so she's got, we have a new gloss sticker finish, here's a sample. This elephant is to die for. I love this, her Etsy one. That's a really nice sampler. And then this is her matte sampler, which I'm going to assume is her normal sampler. I don't know if she always sends two. This is the first time I've placed an order from her that wasn't for promo reasons. So I actually got samplers this time, which is nice. I do really enjoy that. I love the makeup brushes. Um, and then I got two kits. So I got one and two. Oh, now I can't remember the names of these. I need to stop doing that. Um, the names will be on the screen. So it's the same sort of kit, just in glossy, so icons, appointment box, or like third boxes, half box checklist, and third boxes. I like that she's outlined the hearts on this one. That's really good. I'm glad that that's happened. This is a decorative sheet. This must be her unicorn sheet. No, this isn't her unicorn sheet, is it? I don't think this is her unicorn sheet, but I've now I've got an extra stack of decorative unicorns, but okay. Um, I could be wrong. Like, this could come in the kit, and I have no idea, but... Yeah, so I have the unicorn sheet. These are the full boxes, which are super pretty. The full box checklist and these full boxes here, which are all super pretty. And then a functional sheet teardrops, appointment, uh, appointment, what are these called? Appointment circles and flags, dots, hearts, more flags, and the custom headers, which I really enjoy. So that's this first kit. I'm pretty sure the unicorns don't go with this kit, but I could be totally wrong there. And then this one, which I love because I love mint. Oh my god. So the icon sheet, third boxes, half boxes and more third boxes and she's outlined this one too so I'm thinking maybe that's a new addition for her for her shop the full boxes full box checklist and extra full boxes and the functional sheet with the custom headers her glossy paper is to die for oh it's really it's like a really smooth glossy it seems to be pretty thin too oh I'm really impressed with that now I'm going to have to try and find a place for these in my planner. Ugh. So that's my Confessions by Court haul as well. So that's it for this Etsy haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below your shop recommendations. I'd love to hear them. Also, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos including plan with me's with all of these kits don't forget to open up the description box just to check all my links and stuff all these shops will also be listed down below and yeah i'll catch you guys in my next one bye